Since 1947, the World Affairs Council has become the preeminent global stage for world leaders and the public to inform, engage, and debate the most important issues of our time. It's your world. Get to know it. General Myatt, General Jenkins, General Boomer, General Dwadi, General Johnson, General Humble. Uh, we have what in the Marine Corps will be called the old breed with us. There's always in the Marine Corps, those who went before are always called the old breed. But we're really the old breed because we go back to these days. This is my, this is my combined action platoon. We, uh, way back in 1966, we lost a lot of our friends in the village, but it, it was just a different era, but I have to tell you that, that although that was a hard war, so was Afghanistan, by definition wars, it's the same. As a consequence, we're in a war where most of the shooting in the north takes place at a distance horizontally of only about 600 meters, but you have to go down about 2,000 feet across a valley and on up the other side to get to the shooting place where they're firing at you from. And if you're in good shape, you can do it in seven hours, which says he's long gone. The other problem you have is that there is a sanctuary that extends from San Francisco down to the bottom of the Monterey Peninsula in Mexico. It's 1,500 miles long, and they can cross, they being the enemy, who are different kinds of people, but the enemy can cross across the border anytime they want along 1,500 miles and get into a fight with you. And then it's a sanctuary if, if they want to go back to the other side. As an entire society, our president, our general, our Congress, when Al-Qaeda, who had murdered 3,000 Americans, went over the mountain, we all stopped in the middle of nowhere. And we said, oops, we can't go over into that tribal area after that murder, because there's an international dateline. There's an international border. And so 10 years later, it's still sacrosanct to us. You know, I think that shows a change in our entire society that is not for the better, but it's there. That's why, that, that's why that entire area is off limits. It's because in our own minds we said it was off limits. And then what did we do? The second huge mistake we made and changed the entire nature of the war is that President Bush said, for reasons of his own religion, etc., he said, Every person deserves liberty. And again, the entire nation went along with him because all of us believe in our own exceptionalism, and we should. We are an exceptional nation. But now we took a step too far, in my judgment, because we, we went along with, okay, we're going to go to Afghanistan, and instead of just smashing those who were going to kill us, as, as all these generals did when they went to war, their war was 10 weeks and it was over because they focused on the other enemy. We said we're going to reconstruct an entire nation in order to give them liberty. Wow. Can the Marines knock the living be daylights out of the Taliban? Yes. Do the Marines like going out and hunting them and shooting them? Yes. Are they consistently taking territory every day I'm out with them? Yes. Is that what I would declare victory? No, but if my definition of victory is when the Marines are not there. So I can understand how a Marine commander could say, look what I'm doing with my force, and I could say, and I'll do difference, sir, much as I love you Marines, I'm waiting to see the Afghans do it rather than the Marines do it. 